Hey guys and welcome back to the harsh and unforgiving world of Pulse for Nem. That was the back of my head that we did not see to see. Speaking of how horrendous and unforgiving this world is, I think it's time we started applying ourselves to some quests that we've not been ignoring but have been placing upon the back burner uh, because we didn't really rate them highly. This is of course all the defensive quests are uh, very much something we need to do, mainly because I want to go and explore. I mean, like, this this world out here is big and vast, and there are things that I fear uh, if I can run my way up here. The things that I fear include whatever that is over there. We still have not gone and seen it. Like, this is episode 21, and we've not gone and seen the inside of this since the death that happened at episode 4 or 5, something like that. Um... These villages over here, I know they spew out zombie pigmen, uh, so this is all scary and stuff. So we got like a load of stuff I want to uh, to make to make the armor and defensive items that we want. The first thing that I want to get in is this Dark Knight quest. Dark Steel is also an excellent alloy for making melee weapons and suits of armor for protection. Having a sword made of this material become ha very hammy if you very handy, sorry, if you run low on ammo, which is kind of why I've had this normal steel sword. Uh, it has been very handy if when I ran out of ammo. Uh, and an upgraded suit uh, made of this can provide unparalleled protection. I would like that suit there. So we need to make some dark steel. This should be relatively simple. Why was I looking at the paint? I remember why I was looking at paint. Don't worry about that. We will come back to that. Dark steel should be here. Dark steel armor plating is not quite what we're looking for. The dark steel there. Now, this is made in the alloy smelter. It's iron, pulverized coal, and obsidian. Now, thankfully, I got all the obsidian I could ever want. Like, literally as, as much as I could ever want. The iron, I'm pretty sure I can get a stack of iron out of here. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to need all of this, but... I'm going to make as much as I can. I also have many forms of pulverized charcoal. So I'm going to just throw a whole load of this in here. And talk to you about some of the other stuff. Now was it this one here? Ha and ha. That's the one. Okay, whilst that is going on, let's go talk about some other quests. Because I've got some other quests that, were, that I've been working on for a little while now. The first one we have already laid eyes upon. Look. Barley. Boom. We're going to take this over to the fridge. But before that, uh, let's come out here, go into here. Don't worry about these, uh, these three quests. We're, we're going to get to that. Uh, here is the barley. What are we going to get? Um, I think we're going to get the quarter of the heart, blatantly. I mean, what else would we be getting there? Okay, so if we come over to the fridge, something else that, I've, uh, that I have. These melons. Uh, now, out and about, there are slimes that, that come in different forms. I've got some grape melons and some watermelon uh, slime. Sorry, not melon, slime. Grape slime, watermelon slime. I think there's a... a, a I don't know, there are, there are other slimes as well. And I've just been like, oh, that's cool, eat the melon, nom nom nom, without going, wait, there's there's a quest right here that I need to do. This melon quest right here. All I had to do was craft the melon into seeds, and then everything would have worked out alright, which obviously I did in the intervening time when I was like, doi, I remember what I'm doing here. Oh, not, I remember, I can figure out what I'm doing here. So we're going to get another half heart here. Ooh, if the lag doesn't suddenly strike... Give me a second, guys. Something's just gone down. Another thing that we've done is got some uh, pumpkin... Uh, not pumpkin. What is this? Cactus on the go. Right there. So, that was just in here. And we need to claim the reward. I believe I talked about this last time. Uh, I'm going to grab some more cactus. And then we can just, like, pop it in here and make a load. So, ah! Ah, the defences are underway. Right, we don't have enough dark steel to do anything with, so I will be back uh, with some bee talk, actually. Okay, so a quick update on the bee. The most advanced uh, queen I have is the common queen. She is just in a, be uh, a bee house because she turns out two drones at a time every time she goes through her life cycle. So I'm saving her for drones to mix with other things. Inside our active apiary, I have a rock queen, which I keep pumping... Uh, more water drones into and then when she turns into a water queen I'll pump her full of rock queens in the hope that we can get a mutation on the go as for actually things that are working towards quests uh, you'll see down here with the bee products uh, the one that gives me most pause is the royal jelly the reason is if we come in here and uh, just type 
royal jelly, you'll see that we only get it from the Imperial Queen. And I mean, literally, we only get it from an Imperial Queen. And she is quite a lot of work to, to get done. Uh, you've got to go for cultivateds and commons and uh, just all sorts underway there. So that that's what's going on in the apiaries. Uh, but over here, we have this cross-pollinization and it asks us to... Con uh, pollinate apple oak with silver birch. That's why I ripped down this dark oak and jungle tree and put up these here. Obviously they have gone through the tree elizer so they will qualify and it's just all a waiting game. Uh, over here I am attempting to make a second apiary because I'd like to get some more mutations on the go uh, but this is just taking forever. Uh, obviously I need a better power source out here because I keep forgetting to come and charge this up and like maybe two would also be quite good. Yeah that, that's that's a good charge. But yeah that's what's uh, going on with the bees at the moment it is generally just a bit of a waiting game. Alright, let's go and have... Oh, no, I've got a run key here somewhere. Let's have a look in here. Yes, loads of dark steel. In fact, loads and loads. The quest is to do the ender sword, and I've got a feeling. I've just got this tiny feeling I know how to make one. I mean, nothing to do with the way I have looked it up already. Boom, already done. Nice. So is it going to ask me to do something else? It is. It's going to ask me to make some dark plate. Uh, now, I'm not going to look this one up, because I've got a feeling... Oh, will you look at that beautiful beautiful uh is that it is that both tasks okay brilliant well obviously we're going to get all these vibrant crystals because these are what's used to upgrade our stuff oh. lovely now i believe i've got an anvil over here now wait we should have a look in here first is there going to be a quest for this there is not a quest for this okay now in this anvil we can do something like this oh was it not that there there is a way of doing stuff hang, hang on let's grab some more ah so it's just a single one okay that's fine and what are we going to call it we're going to call it twitchy's end oh we can't ah there we can twitchy's end up brilliant that's that's what we want and first bit of upgraded equipment yeah i have no idea what we need to do to keep this upgraded i'm gonna look through stuff and figure out that way that was all my levels though all my levels ah okay so what are we going to work on next i think the next bit is probably upgrading our our little put put gun uh because we've been running around with this same gun that we like crashed onto the planet with and that's that's not what we want to do so what we want to do is try and make an ab9 i reckon we can probably do that uh if we come and have a look in here because the NEI is where we find everything, right? Okay, so we need the elite lens, the barrel, a gun breech, and some iron. I think we can do this. I definitely feel we can do this. Okay, this should be relatively easy to make, as I have led everything out in my inventory quickly to do. So we've got the elite lens here. We should be able to make a gun breech. Is it the gun breech or is the barrel here? Of course it's the barrel. Then this one must be the breech. I presume this is like the firing mechanism or something like that. Uh, we then put these here like this and that across there. Boom! Weapon upgrade. Now before I do anything with it we need to reload it. This is, this is said many, 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 many times in the book. So we're going to get a whole load of clips here and we want to claim one of these. Now I'm not sure what we want to get because obviously the other weapon has a load of stuff on it let's let's go and have a look the hb slash seven let's put this in here first and see what we can do with it can we take stuff off is that a, is that a thing we can take stuff off okay so we've got the lens and scope already so let's have a look back in here lens and scope already so let's go for the grip or stock i'm gonna go with the stock and now that I've reloaded it, we should be able to throw it in here. Ooh, if I don't fire too uh, too much stuff. Uh, and now, hopefully, we can pop stuff in here. No? Ah, oh, what? Am I only allowed to upgrade the barrel and the lens? So we've got the scope in. Okay, that's cool. I'm not sure which one I prefer. Look at that. That's... That looks like it's in the wrong place. It really does look like it's in the wrong place. And does that go on there? It does not go on there. Okay, so we can get back to upgrading this gun, I reckon. Can we do that? No, we can't do that. Okay, we'll take that away and we'll pop this one back in place. Uh, we can like upgrade this with just about everything, thankfully. Uh, and we'll take that back. Okay, brilliant. Well, I don't know what good it's going to be having two weapons, but this definitely looks like a beast to be used now.
So the next job on, we are going to go off of book, though we have got a few things we can do. The main reason that we're going off of book is I want to charge up my stuff here. I was, I was saying that, you know, this has this, you can see just below attack damage durability. We've got the zero out of 1, 000, uh, 100,000 RF. Uh, we need to be able to put this in somewhere to charge it. Now, the idea would obviously be to throw it in your um, generator here, but that is not a thing that can happen, unfortunately. Up the top here, I have been searching out things that we can use to power things. And it turns out this uh, capacitor bank is the way. Uh, is it the basic one I want? I mean, we could upgrade straight to that, I suppose. Oh, two basic capacitors. All right, let's start with the bottom one, with the bottom tier. Uh, we need some iron, some industrial capacitors, and a block of redstone. Now, the industrial capacitors, I have uh, one that I've already brought out into my inventory. And the rest, we are waiting on stuff. Now, some of the stuff I'm waiting on is the cooking of this rubber. Uh, I might even have a little bit more rubber back here because it looks like we don't quite have enough. Uh, and the rest is just waiting. So I'm going to wait a few seconds because I really did think this would be done by now to get all this processed up. Uh, and I will come back with some things and stuff. Okay, and that's all of the six um, raw plastics. So that we can get down and making these. Hopefully we should be able to get three of those. That makes four for that. That's brilliant. And then somewhere along here, if I can click on the right thing. We do not have the block of redstone or the iron bar. Now, iron bar I should have just kicking around. Oh, there we go. Got four of those just kicking there. And a block of redstone. Which I have in abundance. This is good. Alright, awesome. I like having redstone. Lots and lots of redstone makes me happy. It means things are going well in my game. Uh, and there is a basic capacitor. Now you might be asking where am I going to put it. But the obvious choice is right here. Let's take out all the stuff that is in there. Uh, burning sulfur as I appear to have. Uh, an excess of it. Hopefully now we can just throw more sulfur in there. And this should be charging up. We've got a max output. Are these upgrade slots or is this where I put my things to charge? Alright, awesome. Okay, so whilst that is going on, I have a few other things I want to do. Uh, things like, you can see my sulfur is filled to overfilling, uh, overflowing. The same with the nitrogen. Oh man, I'm, I'm warm. Uh, I thought carbon was one of the ones we also had. But there, there are lots of things around here. Nickel, uh, gold, yeah, gold gold and silver lot, lots and lots of things that really need upgrading so what we're gonna do is upgrades okay we'll, we'll just come in here now the one that caught my eye was this storage upgrade level four now this was done with the gentle prodding of landstrider obviously there's no way that i would notice this all unto myself but look the major component is obsidian and if there's one thing that i have a lot of it is obsidian. In fact, we're down to our last 700. I mean, like, ha, <laughs> 700. Uh, so I think what we need to do is figure out how we're going to make this thing properly because I want to go around and extend so so much stuff, expand so much stuff. We need to make this. So to do this, we just want a single chest amongst six bits of wood. Now, how much wood do we have here? This is a question. Uh, let's have a look. What, what's the one that we've got most of? I've been going through my dark wood at quite a rate. Birch wood is also starting to become a bit of an issue, but we, that's what we're going to do it with. Okay, I think the first thing we can do is just turn all this into chests. I think that would be uh, a pretty awesome idea there. We're going to get half a stack of chests. That gives us a chance to make half a stack of these things, the upgrade uh, templates. We then just need uh, eight sticks per chest. I think that is what we want. That's half a stack of logs has turned into the correct amount of sticks. Have we got these templates? No, 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 no. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. I missed a step out. It was supposed to be this first. I'm not going to have enough actual wood here. At least we have the sticks on us. Let's go and get another, oh, I don't know, 11. Uh, what's 11 sixes? 66. So we need at least another stack. Of I am such a good Minecrafter. I know exactly what I'm doing during all of these stages. I mean, anyone who doubts that only has to go back and watch any of my videos to get those sort of impressions there. Okay, we've got a whole stack of things. I'm getting exceedingly hot. I'm going to go uh, stand inside. Well, I was going to go stand in the water, but I've just noticed it's night time. Uh, I'm going to get asleep, stand in some water, and see about doing this next bit of upgrading. I like, I like swimming around in the river because if you know that it's really starting to take my temperature down uh, like a pro. Whilst we're here, I'd like to talk about the little pathway I want to put in going all the way across uh, to... Whoop, whoop. Well, oh, there he is. Let's get him. Firing through the water is always the best way, right? Now, these guys seem to be a little bit immune to the fire damage that would come off of it. Ooh, get out of here. What? I will not take that, thank you. <laughs> Go away, go away. 
Okay, he's good. Now let's just carry on filling this guy full of lead. Ooh, that took a while. So yeah, I would like to put a whole load of pathway in here. Now this is obviously going to mean a bit of a dig out. I'd like to take away most of this obsidian to give us at least a two wide walkway coming down here. Something to match the one we have on the other side. You know, the one that runs down the side of the uh, orchard. Oh look, there's a, there's a little thing that one of them's come after me, hasn't it? Ah, get out of my face. And this is how I normally... Ah! Ah! No! <laughs> Reload bad. Reload bad. I also seem to be wasting a lot of bullets. That's fine. We're going to get some stuff, hopefully. Okay, cool. What did we get here? We got some sulfur powder, some gun powder, <laughs> XP, which is actually the thing that I am after. I would love to get enough XP to be able to upgrade some more of my stuff. I think that would be great. All right, where would he have died? I'm not entirely sure. There it is. Brilliant. Okay, I'm going to... Go take care of the stuff now, as I appear to have cooled down somewhat. Really? What are you doing? There we go. Only wasted an entire clip on them. No no issues there at all. Oh, looky, looky. Got an emerald here. After much distraction and digression, we are finally at the point where we can do the next bit of uh, crafting here. I want to be able to do this. And, oh, just look at that. We look how good that is. Now, hopefully, we can just come along and go, uh, let's start with iron. We could do some more. Oh, look at that. You see? Straight on the upgrade. That is amazing. What else have we been filling up with? Platinum, not so much. Uh, gold was an issue. Uh, silver, we appear to have already done. I don't remember doing that at any point, but there we go. It did get done at some point. Oxygen, carbon. I didn't actually want carbon. Tin? Was tin a problem? Tin was a problem. Uh, chlorine, not so much. I think we're probably down to the last bits now. Uh, having a look around... Extra hydrogen. Okay. All right, we're going to store these somewhere useful. This is my tools box, so we're going to store this in the tools box. Let's have a look here. We finally have a fully upgraded um, sword, and that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Right, I am going to go away and gather some thoughts, uh, because I want to cover these guys up. And Landstrider was telling me that there is a conduit facade or something like that. No, I'm not going to go away. We're going to work through this on camera, it looks like. Uh, conduit facade there we go um that is a not painted and this is also a not painted hardened or co we just want this one okay so this is just made from conduit binder we can do that uh there's also a machine we're gonna have to make to make this work uh but let's go off and make some of this facade facing first now i should have a whole load of this conduit binder in here that's good i made an excess when we were making it just because it was so awkward to actually make uh, okay, that's good. Now, we need to paint it in the painting machine. Painting press? That's not quite what we want. Uh, we are looking for something that goes along with this lot. So, this one, the painting machine. It's an Ender IO block. It's going to take a diamond and some quartz. The electrical still uh, shouldn't be too much bother either. Coal power and silicon. Okay, let's... Um Let's make that quick. Well, how many diamonds do we have left? We've got two diamonds left. I did actually make one from all the carbon we had uh, a few episodes ago, but it took so much. It was like four stacks to make nanotubes, and then you needed a stack of nanotubes to make a diamond or something like that. It was a ridiculous number. A ridiculous, ridiculous number. Now, I should have some quartz somewhere as well. If we don't... I've got five. That's that's good. We want three, right? We only want three. Uh, I'm gonna have to go down at some point and make and get some more quartz. Oh no! Look. Oh, oh! No, no, don't worry about me. I am just talking out of my bottom as I most normally am. It's just we have an entire stack. Maybe we want to turn it into quartz block. Is that a thing? I don't know. I'm not sure if we can change it back afterwards. Right. What else are we looking for? The electrical steel, iron. Silicon and now pulverized coal. I've been having some weird issues with pulverized coal. Right, no idea what I did with the last bit. We got this coal powder. It was giving me powdered charcoal yesterday. I I don't know. It gives me different th different things just on different times. I have no idea what the actual uh, system is in place there. So whilst we're waiting for the electrical steel to cook downstairs, one of the things I've been told this does is uh, this Ender sword. Anyway, let's get rid of these guys. These are totally in the way. Oh, that's an Enderman. Okay, right. That here we go. Job jobs are good. We are on the way. I didn't think that was an Enderman. Uh, let's go. Oh wow, what happened here? Something got blowed up at some point. I bet that was a. Uh, 
Okay, right, this should now have robbed him of his ability to teleport, so I could just, like, wail away on him. And look, he didn't teleport anywhere, and we got an extra head! This is it, this is exactly what I was after. I'm not impressed with the cold. Ooh, wow, ah. That's okay, that's okay, that's just the turrets. We can, we can deal with that, the turrets are good. What we are looking for is another Enderman, though. Um, if we can get him shot at, there he is. Okay, bring him towards us. Come on, buddy, let's, let's have this, you can do it. He's gone underground. He's gone underground. Let's go and have him. Let's go and have him. Hi there. Right, that's his ability to teleport gone. And we're just going to grab another head. Look at that. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, I need to heal and stuff. But I think we can go and have a look in here and get the electrical still. Okay, that's, that's an evening's entertainment dealt with, right? Right, yeah, okay. Uh, there appears to be still some stuff going on. I should be able to just do that. It's the machine frame. I do not have a machine frame. Uh, unfortunate, but can be fixed relatively quickly. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I just came out here for a quick fight and now I'm in terrible danger. Terrible danger. I'm trying to heal, uh, that's not working too well. Um, if we could go backwards, that would also be good. Uh, perhaps we could go and hit the uh, thing. I see something closing on me from over there. As long as we can just keep jumping. Oh! I tried to sleep and it was like, you cannot thresh now, monsters are nearby. I was like, alright, I'll just go out and kill them quickly. Oh no, that's not the way it works. Come on, little zombie. Let's go to the gardens. Well, that was tedious and time-consuming. Thankfully, my grave is just here, so we've not got anything too much to worry about. Oh, hey, that's not quite what we wanted. Uh, we now have a very messy inventory. This could be something we can deal with, though. Let's get back to what we were doing. Machine chassis, painting machine. Ba -ba -ba -bum! Now, I have no idea if this needs any power or anything. We've not used this sawmill, so I'm going to move this. This is going to get shifted to the other side. I, I hope that I could have picked that. Uh, let's put the sawmill over this side. It's still got all its power. Wonderful. So what's going on in here? We've got a painting machine. I think we need to put these in here and then we decide what type of block it wants to look like there. So the one I want to do is all the way down here. Uh, and let's grab this. Okay, and we've got some cooking underway. Uh, boom. Oh, look at that. Brilliant. Okay, let's take two of these. Just to go and see what happens out this way. Because we have some areas we want to cover. I'm probably going to end up wanting to cover a whole load of blocks. But let's start with that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, will you look at that. That's super good, actually. There's no way I'm going to remember. Oh, it says what power it's covering through it. Okay, so I think the way it works, and I, I might be totally wrong here, is this is like just standard brick, but now carries power? Can I break it by hand? I can break it by hand. What does it come off as? It comes off as uh, stone brick. Okay, well, that's nice, right? Okay, so I'm going to make a whole load of those and see what comes out when we've done it. I also have some things that I want to do with those end ahead. I'm just not sure if we're going to end up doing it this time or next. And finally, we gather at the graveyard to mourn the passing of meat clone number seven. Oh man, seven lives have been lost since we came to this world. Oh, I forgot to do a very important part of the ritual here. Put the gravestone in within. I would love to put the gravestone uh, as a head marker. Unfortunately, it, the game just won't let me. Also, some vandals have been down and stolen a flower here. I can only assume it was a ghast. Anyway, we're going to take the traditional moments of moment of silence as I remove the waypoint.
Beautiful. Thank, thank you all very much for being here. And with that, I will say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, guys. I will see you next time where I know the one thing I really do want to do is either turn that over there, or there is another weird thing over there, into some sort of XP farm. That one's a ghast farm. I might not actually want that to be XP. I just might want to go straight for killing it and harvesting its tasty, tasty tears. But anyway, I will see you next time when we're going to do all that and probably a whole lot more. Bye! It's a bit cold there.